Hi, I'm Crash Power, and welcome to the next installment of my Elite Weapon series. Today I'll be showing you the other elite variant of the Bulldog shotgun, Elite, the Face Hammer. It's one of the best named shotguns in the game, at weapons at all in the game, but uh, most importantly, this weapon, this weapon is fun to use. This elite variant is tricked out to max damage, level 20. It doesn't get any higher than that. In addition to plus one damage, it also comes with plus two to accuracy. Two of the three things that really count when it comes to using shotguns in advanced warfare. There is a minus one reduction in handling, but you hardly notice. Also, this elite weapon cannot have any optical attachments on it. But it's such a badass shotgun, why would you want one? The Bulldog does only have a base magazine capacity of six rounds, but it has the fastest reload speed of any shotgun in advanced warfare. However, since it only comes with a total of 24 rounds, Scavenger is a good idea to have in your perk lineup. This is not a camper's weapon. This weapon is for running around as fast as you can all over the map, capturing objectives and obliterating the enemy at close to medium range. Since I'm going to show you this elite shoddy for today, I want to make sure it's at its max potential. Here is the loadout I've used in this example. I've added two attachments. One, advanced rifling, and two, a laser sight, which adds plus two to range and plus two to accuracy, respectively. I wish I had footage of someone else using this shotgun. We were on a big map today. I don't remember what it's called. It's the one with the temple at the top. And the guy on the other team was using the face hammer and it just spits out massive amounts of lead. It's ungodly. <laughs> it looks awesome. Actually, it doesn't when they're on the other team. But sometimes this thing could be too damaging. No! Overall, I think this is almost the best or my favorite weapon in advanced warfare, second only to the TAC-19 uppercut. And it's not even an elite variant. It's professional or uncommon in rarity. Just because a weapon is elite doesn't mean it's the best variant for that weapon. It's just one of the two rarest variants you can get for a weapon in a supply drop. Though usually one of the elite variants is my favorite, it's not always that way. If you're interested in seeing the other elite variant of the Bulldog called Mansi, I've put the entire Elite Weapon series into its own playlist you can find on my channel page. Be sure to check back soon for the next installment of my Elite Weapon series, which include two elite submachine guns, the MP11 Squeaker, the SN6 Money, and the Assault Rifle AK-12 RIP. I had a series of really bad games yesterday, plus I was tired and I had forgotten how fun it was just to pull out an elite Amelie and hold the trigger down for like five minutes. <laughs> But it's still not my favorite. Do you have a favorite weapon in the game? If so, is it an elite? Or is it a professional or enlisted rarity like mine? If this is your first time here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe. Be sure to check out my other video on supply drops. This tutorial shows you everything, from what they are, how you can use them, but most importantly, I'm cover the news on this glitch. All the loot you want as fast as you can videos that are all over YouTube. What's true, what's not, what works, what doesn't work, what it is exactly for the ones that actually try to get it right are missing, and how the whole system works. And do you miss Treyarch Zombies as much as I do? Revisit Origins, check out some of my zombie tutorials. I personally guarantee you'll find that they're the most Elite. Origins zombie tutorials on YouTube. Check it out and become a believer yourself. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask me in the comments below. I'm always glad to help. Until next time, I'm Crash Power, and thank you for watching.